Instead of the normal hops and barley, this pub in Cambridgeshire is taking a rather different delivery of veg, and all sourced from a local garden. Anthony Davison runs the Big Barn project that aims to generate community-driven food. This year we started by um, giving away uh, plants and seeds um, outside the pub so that people could, as they drove past, help themselves and um, grow it in their garden. And um, now it's harvest time, so we'll see what becomes available and, um, and how, we, how we trade it. Uh, one of the ideas is to have a, um, a stall um, outside the pub so that people can come and buy it but then we've got to distribute the money afterwards, so we'll have to work out how to do that. Anthony hopes to channel more cash into the community. His next plan is to produce fruit juice and alcohol. Uh, and what we want to do is put a certain amount of money into a pot uh, so that uh, the community then decide how we spend it. And I, I would love to see the, the village have an apple press, for instance, so that we could all get together at a certain time of year, um, take our apples, windfalls, anything, and we can make juice or even cider, you know, things like that. So it's, it's a great community thing. Anthony also runs a local food website which gives the public information on local sources of food in their area. The aim is to maximise the return for the producer and use dirty and odd-shaped fruit and veg, rejected by supermarkets. We cover the whole country and um, you type in your postcode and it tells you what's in your area. But what we're really trying to do is get people to re-engage with where their food comes from. So we thought the best way to do this is actually get people growing food and swapping it and trading it. And um, the food industry is a bit mad in that if you go to a supermarket, only 9p in every pound goes to the farmer. So with this way of doing things, all of the, nearly everything of, of, of what's paid for by the consumer is going back to the producer. And that encourages greater production and um, it gets farmers actually growing food rather than commodities. Anthony's next plan is to expand beyond the website and local village, to include food education in schools and make the next generation healthier and food wise. Thomas Lonsdale, Cambridge TV News.